guys, what's up? All right, guys, so this is the beginning of this restoration series of this 1966 Telecaster. It is a little microphonic in the neck position there. You can hear that. That's something I will address. I wanted to talk about um, getting it refretted. This past weekend was great for me. I got to spend some time with a, a well-known luthier uh, and restoration expert, Joel Wilkins of JW Restorations. Drove out to Pennsylvania and spent some time with him. We were able to refret this guitar, uh, do a setup on it, and also refret my 59 Strat. There'll be a video coming soon about that one. Uh, we used Jeskar 5590 wire on this board and uh, we were able to retain the original vintage uh, fret slot without any modification or sawing. Joel's methods, uh, I was able to soak up a lot of the tricks he did, um, and he was just a wealth of knowledge, and you know, my hat's off to him, and I've been working with Joel for a while on, on a number of different projects, and he's just a great dude. He's very helpful, and he's always there. Consider him a great friend. A little smoother, but you still get a lot of sting. <laughs> Like I said, the uh, neck pickup is a little microphonic, so when you use the middle position... Like I said, I'm going to uh, wax pot the neck pickup and clean that up a little bit. But I figured in this video, we'll just do a tear down, let you guys see what's inside a 66 Tele. I'm on a timeline. I got to get this body shipped out to Chad Underwood to do the reef in. So we're just going to break it all down. I'll take you guys along with me. You can check out the guts, see the electronics, uh, and just, uh, yeah, we'll break it all down. We'll get it ready to ship out. So I wanted to keep you guys posted on this project. Here we go with part one. Check it, yeah. All right, I'm gonna to try to get this done efficiently. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is get the strings off, but I wanted to just walk you guys through what I got put aside here. A couple of different size screwdrivers, and yes, different size screwdrivers, especially with the old guitars and the old screws. Make sure you're grabbing the right screwdriver with the correct size tip, because you can strip these out quite easily, and there's no need to do that. The only other thing I got is some uh, some Ziploc bags for the parts and a string winder and cutter. First things first. Get the neck off. It's a good sound. You know, I did do a partial setup on this, but you know, there are going to be some factors that are going to change that setup, and I'll talk to you about that. Okay, we got the neck off. You can see uh, Joel was nice enough to help me with the decal because my fat fingers are probably going to ruin it. I got to miss a little light dusting of clear on there, I think. This beautiful fret job here with Jeskar 5590 wire. Edges are incredible, nice and smooth. Big thanks to Joel for all the help. Three being Telecaster, October 66, B. B is the nut width, one and five eighths, which is pretty standard. Some good shape and wear on the back. Original tuners. This thing's all done, ready to go. Truss rod functions perfect. So I'm glad we took care of that fret job this weekend. We really hustled and got it done. Something that we want to see is the neck plate, all the proper screws. Uh, we do have an F plate and a proper serial number. Get these strap buttons off. 
I gotta say, uh, as far as strap buttons, I mean, I haven't seen much of a change since the screws, one screw is proper on the strap button and one is changed. So it looks like they changed it because possibly the hole over here was stripped out or loosened up. We'll get the guard off now. You know, and I know some people say, oh, the screws have to go back where they were. You know, I think maybe if you had, if you had an iffy hole, sure. But, uh, I mean, if they're all snug and holding place, I think they can go back where they want, you know, where you put them. And also, too, you know, you're, you're feeling, you're feeling the threads as you're, you're getting them sent in if, if you find that it's it's tight and it's not going in maybe you got the wrong screw maybe you don't want to go in there right off i don't know if the camera picks it up but it, this almost has like a almost has a mint green look and the back is it's bright white i was questioning whether it's it was a uh, an original one or not but it's kind of got that dull look to the to the old ones and it also has the chatter mark along the side. So that's a cool old guard there. We gotta get inside the control cavity. Cause we gotta get our pickups. Yes, also one of the screws to the control cavity is not proper. I threw that one in there. It was a little better fit, but it is not the right one. They're a little longer. As you can see, The larger one being the control plate screw, the small one being a pickguard screw, a spare one that I had. So I have to find one of those. Okay, this guitar does have a swapped three-way switch to a newer one. 66 pots, 250K, 304. It looks like one is the 13th week of 66, and one is... It's 66 and then a zero, so that means that it could be the ninth week. So, can't do much about the solder on there. I will try to clean these up. Um, I'm not necessarily happy. It looks like somebody had worked on the pickup maybe or changed the lead. They added a piece of wire. So I'm just going to snip this because I know I can, I can do better. Not so much do better, but I can make it a little cleaner. So I'll cut that. We'll remove our microphonic neck pickup. Two screws matching, holding the neck pickup down. It's a plus. And now because they've done a repair over here, they necessarily didn't do a repair. It looks like they extended the leads, the wiring to the neck pickup. Maybe they had it wired up out of phase or had a different scheme. So I'm just going to help fish these through so... I don't potentially rip anything out. The color of the leads on the neck pickup uh, is right in line with 66, 67 Telecaster. It's like a, a, a blue and yellow or green and yellow. And like I said, this bugger is a little microphonic, so we will be wax potting this. You guys have seen me wax pot pickups before. That is not different color they are black and white i noticed some people that they may be saying why are you cutting the wiring well it's kind of messy in there you know you would figure the right way would be to heat the joint up remove the wire um first of all i'm not it's already been touched it's not a hundred percent original example and it's already a bit messy in there as far as somebody going a little crazy with the solder so I'm snipping it, so I leave myself a little, little tiny piece of cloth wire at every connection, and I know that those need attention, those need cleanup, those need to, you know, have that solder removed from there, have the, the area cleaned really well, prepped, and a nice, new, clean, solid, hot solder joint will be added when the time comes to put this guitar back together. In this era of telly, you're not gonna find any body dates. Uh, the neck pocket would have had a couple of stamps and it would have also had a paint stick neck pocket, but they have 
painted over that. And it's, it's odd, too, because they didn't even change the color. They painted over the guitar and made it blonde. But like I said, it looks like they did it with house paint or spray paint. Uh, poorly prepped. <laughs> Prep was not uh, a subject that day. But it's okay. I like this. I like kind of getting a little restoration aspect of it, bringing it back to life. Okay, this should be the bridge pickup. Beautiful. This in a little ground. That comes out. You can see some of the remnants of the original paint on the bridge there. That's super cool. Um, everything looks proper and in line. The gray bobbin on the bridge pickup. Gray bobbin there with the white rope wrap. Uh, yeah, got some original finish too. That's really great. Okay, we're almost done. Talk about Telecaster being such a uh, utilitarian. Um, in in five minutes' time, you're able to strip the entire instrument down. Now, I believe the jack cut will come out. There's a little stand inside body that the uh, the jack goes through and it should be serrated washer as well there it is I think some of the um, some of the old paint has kind of got it stuck on there I don't want to dent the body I just want to go easily around with a flathead screwdriver. There you go, it's coming. Just give it a little pry here. There. That is so cool. There you go, I'll get that all one shot. So. Ideally, I mean, that's how you want everything all off, so you can see it. I'm going to lay everything out too and go over it one more time. I'm guessing it was blonde, but I see some remnants of red, like a lot of red. But I can't see them painting a solid color over the ash body because by default, they would want to show the grain. And then we have some transfer on the neck plate in the back. All right, so I'm gonna try to talk about a couple things for a minute. Like I said, we have the neck. Uh, Joel did help me with the decal, got that set on there. And we did get it refretted with the Jeskar 5590 wire. So that is pretty much done. So there's our neck date there. Body here, which is, as you can see there, it's taking a look at the body there with its lines. You know, ash body. Um, there is some remnants of red. The pocket seems to be blonde, but then you have red inside here. There's red all inside the control cavity. But we do have some router marks. Uh, this is a vintage Telecaster body. It's got, it's got some weight to it, but nothing really crazy, not back breaking. And you can see the little standoff in there that the jack goes through along with the switch cup to hold it all in together. String ferrules, uh, Chad Underwood will probably remove those when he does the refin and then reinstall them. So that's a solid piece, no extra routes, no mess. Control plate here, uh, you can see that the Three-way switch has been changed. Here's what an original one would look like. CRL 1452. So we do have one. Maybe I can get that one to work. But I want to clean up some of this shady solder in here. And that's the original cap and stuff too, though. So, you know, I'll try to use it. Just get some solder cleaned up. Pots do date to early 66. So everything is in line. Fender had an abundance of 66 pots. So you'll find 66 pots in absolutely everything. Our bridge pickup and saddle assembly um joel when i was with him after we did the refret he did set the intonation on this and he did get it really really close usually telecasters a give and take is one string will be intonated one won't because it's one saddle controlling two strings but he was able to get them really really close he also adjusted the pickup a little bit and it's got some kick to it so i'm going to try to leave this alone 
the way it sits. Um, maybe I can find a date on the pickup. If not, not a big deal. I'll just probably do some light cleaning so I don't damage anything. There's the bridge assembly, all four proper screws with that. So that's good. That's solid. Uh, neck pickup obviously had some alteration here, something maybe they need an extension, but uh, it looks like actually, actually the ground was worked on for the pickup cover. Um, this bobbin here looks just very, very frail. So I want to go easy with that. I'll just have to wax pot this, but the leads for the pickup are proper. That's what you would have seen uh, mid 60s when they still had the cloth wiring. Uh, the neck pickup is working, so we'll keep those together, keep those safe. And it does have the proper screws. Um, some surgical tubing was used as a spacer instead of the springs that they would have had. Then we have our pit guard. I'm pretty sure this is an OG pit guard. Uh, I wouldn't say it is mint green. It just looks more nicotine, but it kind of has that feel and vibe to it. And on this side, it is quite white. Um, yeah, just a cool piece. No breaks, no cracks. You can kind of has that smell. And it also the sides has the chat it does have the chatter marks so I'm gonna go with this is original yeah some of the holes are really worn there dulled over if not it definitely can fool me it looks the part a neck plate with four equal length neck screws um, with some finish on the back still which is great uh, but the serial number is correct for the year we have our pick guard screws and like I said the strap buttons here we have different screws probably because the lower hole was stripped out so I can probably plug that and repair it. A couple things worth mentioning with the body. Uh, the neck pocket should have been a paint stick pictured here. So, you know, Chad will remove all of this and replicate that. Because there's so much, there's so many layers of paint in here that it's act, that's actually going to drop the neck down into the pocket, which is something I want. Because uh, I just want it to be solid there and I want that tone transfer and we're going to refinish this the original blonde it would have been uh the body you know it's it's seen some days but it's not it's not cracked it's not broken anywhere it's not routed it's just a, a great piece of ash you know i don't know if you can hear that vibration there there you go so so that's essentially laid out on the table really quick the beginning of the 66 project so there you go with a telecaster especially you know you're able to bust it down really quick telecaster to me will always be the utilitarian guitar of you know fender um very straightforward kind of built with screws you could find at a hardware store assembled two planks of wood some strings and two microphones in there and i think that was leo fender's vision and it's been iconic and it's been a staple in music for the last Jesus, 75 years, you know, or something. It's just incredible how long, how one instrument, one design, one style, and one sound can stand the test of time. So I'm going to get this body boxed up, ship it out to Chad. Chad gave me a great turnaround time as far as the refin and the curing process. I'm excited. In between, I may uh, clean up the control cavity and wax pot the, the neck pickup. If that's something you guys want to see, just let me know down in the comments. You know, I'll, uh, I'll take you guys along every little step. Just cleaning some stuff up. I don't really need to do anything with the bridge or the bridge pickup. I don't need to do anything with the pit guard. The neck needs nothing. So it's the control plate I'm going to work on. Cleaning up some of that solder and trying to get an original switch to work. Because I'm a stickler for that. I just want to get everything to work if I can. So please like. Leave a comment down below if something you want to see. If there's any questions you have about this telly or anything else I can share with you. Some kind of insight I can give you. Maybe there's something you want to see me do with the pots or... With the anything, just leave it down below because I, I like the feedback. Somebody actually gave me a great idea for a, a, an upcoming video last week, and I'll give them a mention. I just really, really appreciate the feedback. I really, really do because it helps me. Sometimes you just get stumped and you don't know what to do a video on. So hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed as well, and look forward to another video coming soon detailing this process of restoring this 1966 Telecaster. Like I said, guys, be good to each other, and I'll keep you guys posted on this 66 Tele. Peace.